Here we go. What are the pins? 32 pin for Buckster, 44 for Danchez. Pretty easy. Yeah, okay, so. <clears throat> Round begins in. Danchez on two, Doom. One. The D&D combo while Buckster, who I'm going to start out with, is on Ranger and picking up Rail and Heavy immediately. Gonna take a grab. Oh, beautiful Rail and Danchez made sure that he reacted in time to keep himself in bounds. Mm. A nice little poke to start. Oh, I love that. Out of double deck. What? How did that happen? The rocket was insanely oh! well placed, but Danchez catches the or quarterback ranger is at its best again and wow i mean i was just about to say i love the double back from bucks debating dunches into going through the teleporter but then it backfired and all of a sudden we have three frags on the board wow. bucks is kind of out of control now dunches is lacking some weapons still, but he has so much stack that it's not really that worth uh, bad for him, especially because Buxter's lacking the railgun himself, which Danchez just picked up. And after a strong start from Buxter, Danchez sits in control with good weapons and should be able to pick up heavy without taking too much damage, as there's still no railgun for, uh, for Buxter. Uh, and I'm gonna have to go back and clip that orb. That was beautiful right at the T-Con. The tribal comes out. Ooh, well right there by Danchez. Getting picked apart with this HMG. Hits another one, so it's HMG versus Rail. Both players extremely weak after the engagement. And Danchez hits another Rail. Buckster only on 60 HP. He's railable. The orb gets him over to the heavy, though. Oh, eats a little bit of a rocket. Stays alive. I don't I know, know what it is, but Buckster is, like, peeking into Dungeon's rails while being railable at least like it feels like 15 times and miraculously not eating one of them not a single rail was hitting there we go and now he needs to run oh, back to back rails finally Dungeon's this is more how we how we are used to him and his and his railgun from the previous matches yeah not a whole lot of respect for Dungeon's and his railgun and now he got that respect being rail after rail. And look at the stack. He's got heavy on lock. Oof. It's a little bit of a rocket there and a rail. Buckster hitting the damage he needed to right there. Good rockets by Danchez. He's got the higher ground. Oh, but that's and the LG. Yeah, you, sh you shouldn't really, like, going up that bounce pad against an opponent with LG is super risky. And then nice spawn for us from Buckster there. And I like that he's not taking any gambles of, of uh, getting possibly railed by Danchez, but just takes his, uh, not railed, but possibly trying to rail Danchez and getting huge amounts of LG damage as, yeah, Danchez is just sneaking in on tribal and getting the mega and Baxa is kind of like positioning himself in a way that Danchez can't really do much against that because he has no railgun to work with. Mm. Oh, that rocket just whizzed past Stop his head. Watch. Stacks are pretty even now since they split the major items. And we'll see if we can get a little fight right here at the T-Con area. Oh, they both hit. Just poke and feel. Both players doing the same amount of damage. Now we're going to wrap around and do it again. The heavy's going to be first up. Good prediction rocket right nice. there by Buster, and that's going to secure a clean heavy pickup. Like and he that. has the orb. We could see it in use here, and yes, we do. It's not right on the item. Prevents most incoming damage from Dungeons, but Dungeons is just stealing it from afar with the railgun there. All the pickup is gone, and Dungeons now with the big balls, peaking while being railable more than three Ooh. times. And he's getting away with it. Buckster can't find his opponent with the railgun. Well, he saw him, but he couldn't hit, and... Ooh. There should be a frag, but oh, at what cost? One HP. This could have been a trade as well. Danchez, though, <sighs> making it costly for Buxter. Yeah. Watch. Can he find him? Not in time. Buxter was able to secure a mega. Just needs a little bit of armor now, and he'll be back in fighting shape. 
He doesn't have a railgun yet, but that's okay in this little this area. Oh, items not much of a split either. Oh, good try bolt right there. That's going to get him the heavy, but look, he's not going for the heavy. He wants to do a little bit of damage on this item first. Beautiful try bolt by Buckster. Now he's going to go back and secure that heavy. And that was smart because he didn't take any damage. Right, right there he did. Oh, nice use of your... And gets the frag. This is a textbook school of Quake right now. By... Oh, no, he makes him spawn that. Dan Chess. Nice rockets, and I mean, he almost died again. But the play before that was great from Bucks, and I think the spawn force and the choice of that fight was great too. But Dunches just hit crazy amount of damage with the rocket launcher, and now picking up the mega, having the railgun too. Buckster was just making sure that nailgun would be as annoying as possible. Oh, huge rockets coming out from Dunches, saving his skin for now. And if he picks up that light armor, he's not railable. Buckster is. But that armor is surgically removed from Buxter. Beautiful shot there. And the Latvian player has so much more resources to fall back on to. Look at the stack difference, AK. Yeah. And Danchez also does not have an LG yet. He's only got a rail for poking and a rocket if it gets too close. But look, no armor at all. He finally picks up a heavy. He doesn't get punished for it either. Look at this. Pushing in hits his rail. And just like that, Anchez flips this on its back. He's pushing in now for a frag. Danchez exactly is playing the slow approach. Buxter is doing the same kind of thing. Both are really going methodical and Buxter hits this rail. Danchez seemingly is not able to find the flow he had on previous maps with that weapon and beautiful rocket from Baxter. This rail was important though, but it was just like... Oh, not enough and then the orb play came out and they just separated without being... Oh, and Baxter again has so much more resources to fall back onto and now he can just push in, but the rail is so punishing this time. It feels like then when, when he really needs it, Dancha still hits it. I mean, he s still sits on f uh, sits on 41%. It's not like he never hits rails, right, this game. But we have seen him previously hitting the crazy stuff, and now it's just not as crazy anymore. Dancha picks up the Mega, but hits, takes the rail, and then he hits another one. 19 HP. Nice re-peak. And making sure he changed his position the slightest that Bucks' lightning gun wouldn't touch him there. Beautiful yeah, play. I thought for sure he was going down right there. He ate a rocket and a rail, but somehow came back to get the frag for all that tribal damage. And Danchez, very weak again, oh. hits a rail though. It's another rail back to back. Impressive. And he just took this to a one frag match. Secures the mega as well. Fairly clean. Let's see if he can hit a rail right here. If he does, he. Oh, good rocket. It, it feels like. The gun pad. Dunches just wasn't, didn't want to accept that I, I said he didn't hit his rails and then he just <laughs> started a firework there. Beautiful shots and this deck is decent. The position, if he uses it well and doesn't take too much LG damage, he can make it work, but no, he can't punish the pickup. Kind of fortunate for him, the orb gets stuck at the ledge and now an LG fight is breaking up. Buxta having the stack advantage is definitely the favorite in that one and even the Mega in during the fight will not make Dunches case better, but the only thing oh. Dantra's had going was the railgun, but he couldn't hit enough shots in a row. Two frag gap is re-established. Two minutes left. Gosh, those One rails, minute. I felt how close they were, my lord. Oh, and Dantra's comes in. Beautiful punch to the top of the head. Takes it within one. We are at 45 seconds left. It's a one frag game. Danchez is fully stacked on the hunt. Can he get this frag and take the first map? Oh, finds it, finds him. Very aggressive rocket jump, but so much lightning gun damage. Both oh. players on death store and the railgun once again is Danchez's savior here. Oh, 
it it looked like when Buxa switched to the MG that he was gonna get the kill, but hitting Dungeon Braille. No problem at all, and there we go. Game is tied. Buxton needs to find some weapons. Oh, nice try again. It's not only damage, but also vital information for Dunches. Five seconds before heavy. Dunches. Axer. Oh, that's gonna hurt. That might stop him from pushing in. It does. Oh. Oh no! Beautiful. What a plethora of rockets came out. Dantes was on the back foot, but he made his position up at middle work perfectly. 200 damage at least, and now Buxter needs to run and find help. But he will run in Dantes' crosshair basically if he keeps going. Now he spams the, the angle and gets the pickups he needs after all. And now he's back at heavy. Gets that one rocket jumps. Oh no, he didn't. He just tried to cover the sun. Eats a rail. Orbs up. Oh, damage is huge. Dan just could finish it here and now. But no, he takes a rail for his troubles. And oh now my he God. with the clutching rails in the end. Dan just took his chance and lost it on the last rail from Boxster. Holy Good crap. Good Lord. I, I thought for sure he was going to seal that down. They were trading damage, just matching each other's damage and aggression and... Balls of steel uh, to, to Danchez for pushing in like that, right through the damage. And uh, Buckster just came big on top that very last clutch second. That was fun to watch. Yeah, and it, it felt like after uh, the, the comeback, Danchez had, had the momentum and then he hit those great rockets, but he just couldn't close the gap. And all of a sudden, Buckster gets all, the, all of the resources again and then he hits the damage, orbs up after he e eating a rail, and Dantes just can't capitalize out of the damage. <sighs> Gosh, I'm out of breath just watching. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but now it's Visor for Dantes on Blood Covenant against Baxter's Galena. Ooh. Interesting picks, I think. And I'm curious to see how Bax is going to use the totems. But I'm going to see that one from the sidelines, if I remember correctly, because it's Rob's yes. and your time. Yeah. We, uh, we will have some quality time between uh, each other. All right. Waiting for this all day. <laughs> like, yeah, Blood Covenant is back in action. Whew. Well, I hope it goes the distance. Yeah, me too. But it's actually the first time like I've ever really think Dentius is a little bit um, nervous. He, he round begins in three, two. Yeah, he, he's. I, I noticed that fight. he's not been hitting as as much as those cl clutch shots he uh, normally uh, takes. So he's really feeling the pressure from uh, Buckstar, which is, uh, yeah, Buckstar is just a really great player in his own right. Yeah, we have a first engagement. <laughs> Dench is almost eating a full on rocket, but he's dizzing out the damage. And all oh, Buckstar thought the fight was over, but uh, he was still being chased. Dench is first on the board. And if you watch that, he didn't take any damage from the engagement. Look at Dan Chez's stack. He is full and got himself another Mega right there. He might even get over this heavy in time. He could push in for the heavy. Ooh, Buckstar hitting the rail. Uh, Dan Chez doing two in return, actually. Pops the vision. But still a bit on down. the defensive mode. Oh, this is surgical by Danchez right now. He's hitting rails and zoning with the tri bolts. Yeah. I'm actually surprised this is only 1 0. True. Uh, and and Buckstar had both items, but you. <laughs> you can't really see it anymore. Like, Danchez is around to do this out of damage, and now. Ooh, the totem saved Buckstar for a few seconds, but uh, yeah. Totally and that was cut smart. out. 
he went and got the frag before getting the major item, so it was like a clean pickup when he did get it. And now, look at, um, Buster only has a mega right now to work with. Oh, good damage by the rockets, and now we're already at 3 to 0. Not even two minutes in, so I think Danchez is uh, on a mission here. Yeah, <laughs> he wants to uh, get this map and also revenge from the last one. And he's, uh, he's found his uh, confidence back. Hitting like a truck. Boxer is moving away with the mega health, though. Uh, while Dentures had all the weapons for an engagement. Ooh, but Buckstar overstays his welcome. <laughs> Another combo from Danches. It's gonna be right before the heavy. Oh, hits two rails. Buckster sticking around. And he paid the price for it. Danches just knocks out three rails and secures the major item. Now he's gonna stack back up and try to do it again. Yeah, it's just a really strange how this map is going. Like, Buckster has has more items in his uh, pocket than Dentius, but Dentius is five cracks up. So the damage Dentius. output from Dentius is just amazing. Yeah, he's just hit his last three rails, and Buckster kind of, every time he gets a bubble or a light, it gets stripped right back off. He will get this mega health. But Danchez knows, and there he is with an LG, doing damage. Misses a rail, though. That's... Buckster really needed that. <laughs> yeah, uh, there are two totems up. One gets removed. Oh, look at this. Yeah, and Buckster needs to uh, vacate the area. No major item, so... Now the frags are going Dench's way. Uh, was even without being control, but now he has a heavy control. Dench uh, does get a consideration prize uh, with the mega health. But yeah, playing a Galena, you really want to get into that heavy control. Yep. Dench has, I think he's going to get a very clean heavy pickup here. Oh. Oh, there's Buckster. He's putting pressure on the item. Wow! He comes in, steals it away, and gets out of there when he hits a rail. These guys are completely doing crazy plays. And, and look at that. And Danchez answers with another beautiful combo right off the jump pad. Wow. Yeah, and still no frack going Buckster's way. And he did everything right there, too, securing that item. Ooh, and wow. Even that rocket uh, did not connect. You're right, though, what you said earlier about the confidence of Danchez. You can, you can just see in the way he's playing right now. Just more forward and complete confidence in his rails. Even when they're not hitting, it's not really getting in his head. He's like, whatever, I missed one. I'm going to keep firing like that. Like that. <laughs> uh, they're lucky. He's one of those players. Uh, I, I think, yeah, how do you get to uh, like s such a Parkinson style aim? Like, I do know why players do that like Sirius also is one of the players that does that that way i think you can just totally uh oh, do the micro adjustments more quicker oh but oh. Uh, buckster <laughs> gets a totem frag on the board buckster's on the board so switch over to his pov and he gets a clean heavy pickup this could be the turnaround Oh, prediction rocket. And G versus Rail right here. Buckster really needs to turn up the heat. He wants to stay in this. He's only got about three and a half minutes here. But the zoning from Danchez with that tri-ball is vicious. 
Yeah, Buckstar wants to get into the face of dances, but uh, those tribal uh, shots are making that he needs to keep his distance. Ooh, Buckstar is not hitting his rails while Dentius uh, is hitting the ones he needs. And yeah, is there a way for Buckstar to get back into this? Mm. You'd really have to start chaining them together and get lucky on spawns. Don't know if you can do it. Sanchez, this is uh, this is the new blood of Russia. I'm told he's only 20 years old. Beautiful rail. Again, do this. He just doesn't care if he's taking damage. He says, "I'm gonna hit most of my rails." And pushes in with that weapon. Yeah, I think we're uh, you know, already in garbage time on this uh, map. But Boxer does try to soldier on. Will or might get him some frags, but the map uh, is pretentious. Yeah, maybe maybe that's what he's doing right now, just trying to keep his aim warm and try to get a couple pokes in before the next before the next map starts. Ooh. Yeah, and maybe also stop some momentum that Dunches is working with. Uh, like he's turning into Super Saiyan uh, right now. Yeah. Confidence is back for sure. 13 to 2 with a minute left. This will take us into a third map. I'm glad we went the distance, though. This is what I was hoping for. Yeah, I'm thinking what could Boxster do different? Or are there any other champions? Because Dens just picked Visor first. Jesus. We had Strong oh. still up. Slash. Guys are both railing like folks. Ow! Oh, oh, oh. oh, he does get some revenge. Mm -hmm. Yeah, strongly in favor of uh, that. Even look at those accuracies. 58% on the railgun. He hit 40 rails. Um, and I think I think Buckster only hit seven. Wild. But yeah, this does mean we uh, move into the tiebreaker. Just a fill of nothing. Benches did like more damage with the railgun alone than Buckster did the entire game. Jeez. Yeah, with Hill of Nuff, uh, Buckster will play Eisen and Dentius will uh, play Sorlek. <sighs> Curious, I mean... The turret against a big hitbox like the Solek will definitely hit more projectiles and the rocket launcher will be devastating to the Lizard too, but I can see the mobility and the speed of the Solek be the, the difference maker here too. Hmm. 
Not sure. I will get on the bench. I will get on the bench for this one, gentlemen. Yes, right. uh, thank you. Thank you. And um, yeah, I, I, I do think it 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 does is I think it, it is a problem that you're a, a big target. Uh, so you have to have heavy control and Windows Lightning on fights. Yeah, I mean, I'm gonna start with, uh, I'm still gonna side with Baxter because I've been saying that before the, the best of three. And I think he has a fairly decent pick. As now for his approach, he decides to not cheese any damage on Danches. Oh, and all his armor gets removed as an aggressive. Danches is doing quite a bit, but I think he just stopped before he overdid it. And now Danches sits on the high ground with a rocket launcher and a lightning gun. And Baxter is just relegated to the lower parts of the map. He has the weapons he needs, but... Yeah, will it make a difference? Dan just picked up his respective item already. Rocket jumps up. He, he eats so much damage. The armor is there for Dunches. No, not for Dunches. For Buxton to save his life. And Dunches can't do anything. Good totem placement. A totem turret placement. Holy guacamole. What's up? From from uh, Buxton there. Preventing an aggressive push from Dunches off the spawn. And now he sits on the high ground. And I think he's just going to try to deal damage when Dunches moves in, in, in position. Oh, he could steal the item, but he can't steal Mega. Mega is gonna go to the Lizard now. Ooh, it's actually Dunches who's hitting the damage, so Boxer's uh, heavy. Uh, well, you don't see any proof of it. Oh, the great turret placements. Totally stops the momentum. But, uh, ooh, as soon as it gets removed, Dunches smells blood and uh, gets his dying frag. Yeah, and it's at a good time wow. too. Heavy's coming up. He had more than enough time to get in position. Fortunately, Buxter could pick up the light armor at Rockets, but oh, now with the second rail, every armor is removed. Oh, and he goes for the portal. Not... Yeah, that was a bit risky. He didn't hit the rocket damage, to be fair. It could have worked if he hit perfect rockets. But... Ooh, the double just... back. Oh. What? Okay, both approaches could have worked, but it was just not to happen by... Not much, to be honest. And now it's a two frag difference, and Dancha sitting there with all the weapons. Baxter seemingly trying to find his weak opponent and, and finishing off what he started, but he just can't. Oh, but look at this. I like Baxter lost a frag, but he's getting full control out of it. Dancha with his tail between his legs goes up to the jump pad of doom. Let's remove all the armor Buxer is working with and look at, uh, yeah, that's a healthy lizard. Like a heavy spawns with uh, some armor to uh, begin with. And he also got the light. But the heavy goes to Buxter. Great drill from Dancers, but Buxter who gets the uh, next major item. Yeah, Baxter is, is doing a good job of controlling his position at the moment. He's not having the railgun, so Danches could use that to punish the heavy pickup. But it seems like that Danches just wants high ground. Takes 50 damage almost for it. Not too much, but in his situation, that can be the difference maker already. And oh, and deploy the team. Yeah. <laughs> again, I was just going to say, just deploy it again and yeah. be an annoying piece of... Oh, but two back-to-back -back rails. And Timmy can't follow up with enough damage. Very aggressive push from Danches, but greatly executed. Yeah, um, I think Buckstar is uh, having an angle uh, prepared. Ooh, but it's actually Danches who <laughs> does it a 180 and connects the shot. Oh, and he gets caught out. Three rails for Danches. Oh yeah, and he hears the zooming of the rail. This is uh, a tight grip on the map right now from uh, Pretentious. Like Boxer is just being punished for spawning. Like he he gets caught out and is not able to collect any weapon, let alone uh, some armor for any fight. Yeah, and like. 
it feels like he has trouble doing the same amount of damage that Stop that Dunches did does with with uh, what he has to work with. I mean, Dunches, every time we see him choose to to show up, Buxa is like losing so much stack, but Dunches is. On the other hand, looking rather healthy, and oh, the damage there. difference is, is there. And look, another huge damage output from, from Dunches, while well, Buxter did like, I don't know, 150. And it was before the item. So it's all nullified again. Nice, Rail. Yeah, and you would say like Dunches being, uh, uh, yeah, in control. Uh, also, playing the heavy champion, that that boxer needs to do him double the damage, but uh, he's not doing this right now. So he has, he has, yeah, it's pretty hard for him to get back in this match so if that doesn't change around. So either he needs to get in control or do the damage, but uh, neither is working. Yeah, it's not like Buxter is not getting pickups or anything. But Buxter has it feels like Buxter has trouble doing all the damage at one like in a, in, in succession. So Dunches can always heal up and the cycle continues for for Dunches where he gets frag after frag and item after item, whereas Buxter is is just not able to find a dent in, in Dunches' rotation and, and damage it or stop, stop it watch. even. And I mean, look at the stack difference. It's 350 to 200. And if now Dantes will land the first damage again, as he usually does, then the stack difference is even more significant. And look like, wow. Yeah. Awesome <laughs> I mean, the, the, the desperation plays are already coming out. I wonder. Yeah, OK. Because it mm. looks like Baxter is completely swapped out after map one. Yeah, I would say like if he gets one uh, clean frag before the seven minute mark uh, and grabs control with at least one item, then we could still have a close match. But it has to happen now, the frag. Well, he's doing the damage. But, uh, Tries to decide f to go for the real first one the hit, uh, misses, second one hits. Um, but yeah, because the first one missed, uh, Dances did some damage before dying. But we do have uh, both items actually. Going to Buckster. What Buckster needs now is, is like, now he needs a clean frag at this point in time. And then... He really has to spawn falls and cycle it over and again, but Dunches is being so hard to get right now as he just plus back rocket spams the choke point. Baxter had to go through beautiful air rocket and the follow up rail. And this could be the moment he needs, but Dunches is just not giving him what he needs. And like, yeah, Dunches is just not going towards the rocket launcher there. And then Baxter was not healthy enough to push in no matter what. So he decided to fall Ooh, back on the heavy, the heavy. Oh. Now the stacks are more in favor of Dantes again. And he mistimed it even. Didn't use the downtime to throw the turret. And the shotgun is obliterating Dan uh, Baxter there. And I think that's it. Yeah. Like there's 90 seconds and he needs nine frags. This is... I mean, Dantes could waste 45 seconds alone if he just never... If he always delays the spawn, but he calls the GG, and I mean the, the damage output is just insane. One thousand five hundred is the difference, and then you, yeah, sublimely played from Dunches. Yeah, so Dunches, the first challenger who gets into the Quakecom finals, that will happen in uh, August. Um, sending Buckstar. On a retry for the following uh, weeks. But yeah, great play from Danchess.
I'm liking this new story arc. 